This coming Sunday is the Feast of Pentecost, surely one of the most beloved feasts in the calendar of Christian churches. It represents the conclusion of the Easter season. I like to think of the Lenten and Easter seasons as being joined together so that we're going in, a, in an arc from Ash Wednesday all the way to Pentecost, from ashes, if you will, to the fire of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit, in fact, is spread across the entire Easter season. And it is the gift of the Spirit to the churches and to the world that we understand through this gift that, in fact, uh, makes the birth of the, the Christian church possible. And, of course, it takes its meaning both from the incarnation of Jesus Christ, his birth into the world as a human being, and his dying and rising in the Paschal mystery. Donald Jackson, in illuminating this, this particular scene of Pentecost, is creating a major statement by creating a full page illumination to begin the Acts of the Apostles. And in doing so, is really telling us that the gift of the Holy Spirit is what gives life, vision, and direction to the entire book. The Day of the Lord tradition from the prophet Joel is in the background. It's the Day of the Lord tradition, and so we see the sun is darkened, the moon is covered with blood, there are streaks of fire shooting down across this illumination. Down the very center of this illumination is a gold column. We've seen it before in the birth of Jesus, seen in the beginning of the Gospel of Luke, as well as the crucifixion in the Gospel of Luke. It's showing the gift of the Holy Spirit coming down into the world in the same way that the Incarnation and the Crucifixion give life and meaning and direction to our tradition and to the world. This, this column of gold here, in fact, as we track it down, cuts the Abbey and University Church right down the middle. And we see right here the cross from the bell banner turned slightly so we can see it in gold and platinum. At the very bottom and to the right, the Jerusalem churches, if you will, melded into the Abbey Church, communicating that vision of Luke that's communicated in the Acts of the Apostles, and that is, is the gospel goes out from Jerusalem to the rest of the world. And that includes, of course, Collegeville. We can see these lively, lively colors at the very bottom here. Donald Jackson was here for a football game in the fall and looked out across the stands and saw all of these different colors amongst the spectators. And on big meeting days on the campus, there are colored flags that are uh, blowing gently in the wind. And it, it, it takes this part of the illumination, if you will, and lifts it up and gives it color and life and joy, uh, a sense of, of celebration. The keys right here are the keys of Peter. Peter, the source and symbol of unity for the Christian churches. Peter and the, the Petrine function within the church have always front and center this sense of holding the churches together for the purpose of giving integrity and meaning to the gospel message itself. The great celebration of Pentecost 
and its meaning is, is to bring the gospel to the world. It's a message of healing, of forgiveness, of hope for new life, uh, a, a vision of, of unity to all people. Above all, it's an invitation to all of us, to each one of us, to follow the path of the gospel, uh, to live it well. And it will be exactly that source of hope and vision for our world, a vision that our world truly needs at this time. Alleluia.